In our video now, we're going to look at using and maintaining the master schedule here. And for this video, we want to talk about the concept of planning and coordinating changes. So there's elements of demand which could affect what is being built in the master schedule. So we must account for all those where possible. For example, inventory levels. If you're going to increase inventory levels, you're going to have to build that extra inventory to increase those inventory, or conversely, not build as much if you're trying to lower inventory levels. Backlog of orders in a make-to-order environment, we may lower our backlog to uh, because it's unacceptably high, which means we're going to have to build more. Capacity, having the resources to build it. Customer orders, you know, if we're going to try to gain more customer orders, we're going to have to build for that. Time fence policies. When do we say no? When do we say maybe? When do we say whatever? Uh, even design of products and processes can affect what has to be built because uh, if we change a product or change a process, that's going to change the demand. And supplies coming in from suppliers can, of course, affect the master schedule as well. So these are all elements of demand. And uh, in some cases, a little bit of a supply, which could affect what's being built. And so it's important to capture all this and, and capture all these because they're going to be there regardless of if you capture them or not. So it's better to capture it early on so there's more effectiveness in your planning. And if a customer or an order or some element of that change doesn't come to fruition, chances are you'll still sell all of that anyhow. So impact-wise, it gives us a better ability to see what demand is coming gives us a chance to prepare for it, have a better chance of meeting all the demand because we have all the components and raw materials in stock because they've been planned for it. And this should lead to more efficient and effective production and cost less and therefore more profits and, of course, happier customers along the way as well.